Hi, my name's Natasha Hemmings and this is the playlist of my life. The first song I've chosen is Nickelback, How You Remind Me. I chose this song because this is a song that used to be played in my house when I was a little girl. I remember my birth dad playing this song and although I don't have happy memories really of him now, but at the time I, I was happy and it reminds me of my twin brother and what we've been through together. I think what I find really significant about this song now is as I've grown older, the lyrics hold a lot of meaning to me and relate to that time of my life and, and how I felt I suppose at the time. It's really interesting how that song has stuck with me when really it doesn't come from such happy memories. The second song I've chosen is You Belong With Me, Taylor Swift. I've chosen this song because this song reminds me of when I was a teenager. I used to play this a lot in my bedroom at home and it reminds me of the times when I wasn't popular at school and I didn't have um, many friends but she always made me feel like that was cooler in a way and the story of the, of the girl in the song I really connected with and really enjoyed the music so I think that song reminds me of, of high school. I would say Taylor Swift has been an influence to me with my music. I find lots of artists to be influences, the way that they write and the stories and the themes that they write about um, but for me she's an influence because she shares her life stories and this is what I've always tried to do with music is to pick a moment or a pivotal point in my life and, and try and let that inspire the music and more often than not I find that I do that with the sound before the lyrics which is really interesting. I'll have more of an emotion when, when writing. That comes out first and then I connect it with the events that time that there I find my lyrics. So the third song I've chosen probably isn't that well known to most people but it's called Oceans by Hillsong. Now this song is really important to me because when I turned 18 I became a Christian which is a bit of a late time I suppose to become a Christian for most people but I wasn't brought up really knowing much about God and I found God at 18 through a struggle in my life, through heartbreak and, and friendships breaking down as well, being bullied and, and different things. So that kind of made me grow stronger and I, I found my faith in God. And this song is the most beautiful song and I just think everybody should listen to it, religious or not, because the words are amazing. So the fourth song reminds me of, of fashion and my love for fashion. It's Vogue by Madonna. I absolutely love this song. It's been at the Miss England events that I've done. Um, we've often played it on the catwalk sometimes for the girls to come down to. And, and my mum's always been into fashion as well and she used to play this song um, when I was growing up. So I just love it. I, I love fashion. So I suppose it represents that part of my life. I love Madonna. I love Madonna because my favourite artists are artists that their work doesn't stop with just music. Music is a way of expressing yourself, but there's so many other ways in which we can do that as artists as well, with our fashion, um, with, our, with our lifestyle choices, and with the things we support with charity, with all the different things we can do. And I love Madonna for being that, that person really that is more than just the music. She's a whole package. She's a production in herself. And I find that really inspiring. So the next song I've chosen is Still Falling For You by Ellie Goulding. I just thought this was a really beautiful song and Ellie Goulding is an artist that inspires me um, when writing music. I love the themes that she writes about and I love her difference in vocal style um, to many other artists as well. And I've always found that my vocal style is a little bit different and is not like the traditional pop singing. And I think Ellie Goulding is like this also. Um, and it's really nice to hear different sounds and different voices in the mainstream music. I love the fact that she's talking about a love that even in years to come is still as fresh as it was when, when you first met that person. So I think the theme is really beautiful as well. So the sixth song is really funny. It's called Perfect Day by Hoku. I never really knew what the song was called but I always used to sing it, it would just be in my head like every morning when I get up if I want to be in a good mood or, mood or something and most of you will know the song from Legally Blonde and I love this song because it's just so fun and it's just about girls being girls and enjoying life. So the seventh song I've chosen is Booed Up by LMA and this song is more of a recent memory of just 
feeling confident and going out with my friends and this is a song that's always on the radio and it's kind of reflective of the music of today that's in the charts right now and I'm, I really enjoy all different genres of music so this is kind of my club cocktail song. So the next song has a really important memory for me as well. It's Glamorous by Fergie and this song was the song that was played when I won Miss England and it was just so such an unexpected moment and I really wasn't expecting to them to call my name so when I came out all I could remember is this song playing and it was I had like smile like crazy smile running down um, and my family were there and it was just it's an amazing memory and it's always brought back to life with that song so my next song is a really important song to me it's Wuthering Heights by Kate Bush this is a song I've covered and I also perform live on my tour sometimes and it holds more of a sentimental uh, value for me. It's a song that I used to sing for my granddad who's no longer here and he really loved Kate Bush and loved my singing in particular on this song and so I always think of him when I sing it. I love Kate Bush as an artist. She's perhaps one of my favourites. Again, I really like how she takes music further than just writing a song. It's, it's about how she embodies that music in dance and in her style as well. And these are things that influence me and that I love to do with my work as well. And I always try and bring my personality into my work as I think she does as well. The first time I heard this song, it was played to me by my mum. I've always been listening to artists with a similar voice to mine, a similar range or style. And I remember she shared with me Sarah Brightman and Kate Bush. And I think it was really interesting how one was from more of a classical world and one was from more of a pop world, but yet I found similarities in both styles of music. And they both influenced my writing and singing today. So my final song is Mr. Brightside by The Killers. I love this song, it reminds me of my twin brother, it reminds me of one of my favourite films, The Holiday, and I just love this song from memories of throughout my life as well. It's a song that's consistently played. Uh, it was played at parties when I was younger, it's played on the radio, and I just find it really uplifting, which is strange because the story isn't at all uplifting, but I really enjoy it. I can remember listening to it as a family watching the film. We watch the holiday at Christmas and this song comes on and it's the scene when she's like dancing around her room and being crazy and me and my brother would always be like that. That's probably the best memory. So my name is Natasha Hemmings and this was the playlist of my life.